the official definition of self-discipline is the ability to control one's feelings and overcome one's weaknesses. Discipline. If there is a magic word that stands out above all the rest, this is the one. Discipline. Discipline is the bridge between thought and accomplishment. Discipline is the root of all good qualities, but you have to absolutely apply it to things outside of just waking up early. See, the problem with you is you rarely exercise your self-discipline muscle. You just go with the flow. No backbone whatsoever. And that's perfectly fine until you start whining and complaining about your lack of success. Failure is not a cataclysmic event. It is not generally the result of one major incident, but rather a long list of accumulated little failings. Failing in life is failing to think today, failing to act today, failing to care, to strive, to climb, to learn, to keep trying day by day. If your goal requires that you write 10 letters today and you write only three, you are down seven letters. If you want to make five calls and you only make one, you are down four on calls. If your plan calls for saving $10 today and you save none, you're down $10 today. Now the danger is looking at an undisciplined day and concluding that no great harm has been done. It doesn't seem like such a bad day. But add up these days to make a year, and then add up those years to make a lifetime, and perhaps you can now see how repeating today's small failures can easily turn your life into a major disaster. Whining and complaining about your lack of progress. Whining and complaining that you're not gaining any momentum, and you can't seem to get ahead in life. See, self-discipline begins with the mastery of your thoughts. If you don't control what you think, you can't control what you do. So don't talk to me about your failures. Don't talk to me about your setbacks. Don't talk to me about the lack of success you are achieving. Because I'm that one. I'm that one that will tell you the exact reason why you are failing. You're failing because on a daily basis, you fail to exercise your self-discipline muscle. On a daily basis, you fail to sacrifice. You're failing because on a daily basis, you fail to come up with a plan. On a daily basis, you fail to get uncomfortable. You fail to push past your limits. And you fail to believe in yourself. Excuses sound best to the person that's making them up. What are you going to do? I don't want you to get all emotional from this message that I'm leaving. Yeah, yeah, that's that real right there 10 minutes later 10 days later you go back to doing the same shit it's go season it's it's everything it's working out every day making yourself stronger and faster and more flexible and healthier discipline is eating the right foods to fuel your system it's about disciplining your emotions so you can make good decisions. It's about having the discipline to control your ego so your ego doesn't get out of hand and control you. And then we sat down and had a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with ourselves. We self-assessed and took complete ownership for all of the lack of success that we were achieving. Then we made the decision to flip the switch and made the necessary changes to go into the kitchen of our lives and cook up a dish of massive success. And we quickly realized that a key ingredient is self-discipline. It's about treating people the way you would want to be treated and, and doing the tasks that you don't necessarily want to do, but that you know will help you or help your team. It's about facing your fears. It takes discipline to face your fears so you can conquer them. And that's what discipline is. Discipline means taking the hard road, the uphill road to do what's right for yourself and for other people. It's so often the easy path, the easy path that calls to us to be weak for that moment, to break down for that moment, to 
give in to the desire and the short-term gratification. But the discipline will not allow that. The discipline calls for strength and fortitude and will. It won't accept weakness. It won't tolerate another breakdown. The discipline can seem like it's your worst enemy. But the reality is, discipline is your best friend. It will take care of you like nothing else can. And it'll put you on that path. The path to strength and health and intelligence and happiness. And most importantly, it'll put you on that path to freedom. Success, on the other hand, is just the same process in reverse. If you plan to make 10 calls, and you end the day making 15, now you're up five calls. If you then get up a few on letters, move up the savings numbers, you can see what a massive difference it could make in a year, and what wealth and accomplishment awaits for a lifetime. Discipline is like a set of magic keys that unlocks all the doors of wealth, happiness, sophistication, culture, high self-esteem, pride, joy, accomplishment, satisfaction, and success. The first key to discipline is awareness of the need for and the value of discipline, and especially the discipline to make the changes. What will it take? What must I do? And what must I become to get all I want from my life? The second key is the willingness. More than that, the eagerness to maintain your new discipline deliberately, wisely, consistently. And the third key to discipline is the commitment to master the circumstances of your daily life, to see and harness the opportunities to make something of the sun and the rain, the good as well as what comes in the guise of misfortune. Discipline does many things, but most important of all is what it does for you. It makes you feel better about yourself. Even the smallest discipline can have an incredible effect on your attitude. And the good feeling you get, that surging feeling of self-worth that comes from starting a new discipline, is almost as good as the feeling that comes from the accomplishment of the discipline. The Marines have a saying, everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. And that's just real. At the center of bringing any dream into fruition is self-discipline. Every day, we are choosing that's not in our own best interest, right? So if the world is attacking you and the world wants to fight you and the world's trying to hold you down, so you're gonna kick yourself in the balls? So you're gonna stop yourself from getting what you dream. Self-discipline is the center of all material success. You cannot win the war against the world if you can't win the war against your own mind.